Morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcel Fontenot. Louisiana making an effort through the newly created La STEM Advisory Council to increase the number of students who pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. Lawmakers believe more STEM students can improve Louisiana's overall economy. As our Josh Minnie reports, in Lafayette, one school is far above average when it comes to producing Louisiana's future leaders in the workforce. With mechanical engineering specifically, it somewhat goes hand in hand with um, different kinds of engineering, such as civic or civil engineering, which uh, would go into the building of bridges per se. So those two would need to go hand in hand in order to, you know, build the bridge. So you want to figure out what's the best material to make it with so that it goes across the distance that it needs to. People by nature are, are uh, very curious about different things. Well, we take that curiosity and we actually solve problems. And so children are allowed to apply what they've learned to solve real world problems. The David Thibodeau STEM Magnet Academy, which serves students 6th through 12th grade, receives governmental funding and support from major corporations like Chevron, AT&T, and Mozilla. However, money isn't the only factor driving the Academy's success in producing exemplary STEM students. Here in the engineering workshop where students learn how to build products from concept to completion, for example, the company CGI Federal contracted students to build 250 of these air quality sensors that will be placed all around Lafayette. Sydney Leger took her passion for photography and used the digital media program at the Academy to advance her skills and grow a business. Through a few clubs on campus, um, I've gotten sponsorship for a project called Project Memories and I have expanded my business simply sending photography to use the funds that I earn from actual photo shoots to pay for senior photos around Lafayette Parish who um, for seniors who cannot afford senior photos otherwise. Senior Gavin Randolph participated in a NASA program and was chosen to be the electronic engineering lead. He says the experience has set the course for his career path. A lot of security because a lot of people go into college not knowing what they want to do. I, I've for multiple years now known that it's going to be engineering and when I went to this school it helped me find electrical engineering. So now I'm, I feel I'm ready for college. In Lafayette, Josh Menny, KTC TV3. Now for the STEM Advisory Council, getting the funding needed for a statewide STEM initiative is a tremendous task amid the state's $1 billion budget shortfall. The council is set to make its first recommendations to the legislature in January. Here